everyone, and welcome back to yet another episode of Apollo Justice Ace Attorney. We're continuing where we left off in Turnabout Corner with our day two investigation. We barely squeaked by the trial. Now we're going to continue on with the investigation and get to the bottom of this case. June 16, 2.23 p.m., write anything agency. What a train wreck that was. I'm glad we made it out of that trial alive. Apollo, we're all glad you made it out of that trial alive. You understand how bad it would have been if we lost? Oh, that would be horrible. Really? I had fun! And Walkie made it through the day, too! Yep, Walkie made it through the day. Everyone was too obsessed with panties to bother with the real case. But it was a good publicity! Imagine the crowd at my show tonight! You should come, Polly! Folks, I'll be here all week. That's about enough of him. Hello? Ah, Miss Talia! Thank you for today. The trial went well? All right, no problem. Do you think Walkie will be okay? Well, he's not guilty yet. Please. You have to help him. We're supposed to get married next month. Oh, uh, congratulations. Yeah, way to put the pressure on a guy. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help. All right, lady. I'll let you know. But, but low-key, lady. This ain't gonna work out nicely for you. Are you sure about marrying into the Kataki family? I'm fine with it. And I love walking with all my heart. Aw, that's so sweet! So, doesn't it... It doesn't bother you that you'll be, um... Married to the mob? I don't think so. My parents are against it, of course. Say! Where did you and Walkie first meet, anyway? Good question. Miss Talia doesn't look like the type to have gangster connections. Oh, we met at my old job, actually. Uh huh. Office romance! She's not very forthcoming with information about herself, is she? What you trying to hide from me, lady? What is your old job? Really? Mr. Kotaki wants to quit being a gangster? He's trying to transfer his assets into a normal company. He only announced it recently out of the blue. Imagine Walkie going along with that. He's highly motivated, isn't he? Um, that's not the word I would have used. He said, I'll be the next big boss and keep the family alive. I think he's at that age when boys want to make a mark, a mark on the world. Blech. That's not the way I would have put it either. His father moves in a lot of circles. He's really focused on profits. Okay? Again, not the way I would have put that sentence. But Rocky says it's not about the money. They have the gangster tradition to uphold. Oh, a g generation gap. They even got the classic what about the family business thing going on. Usually it's the father worried about tradition. Yep, that, that's normally how that works. So this is actually really creepy. 
Uh, can I ask you a question about walking? I understand he was operated on by the victim, Dr. Maractus. That that's what we found out in the trial today, yes, Apollo. Apollo, what else do you need to know? Apparently, yes. Oh, uh, you're acting strange! You know something! What do you know? What are you hiding? I was in his clinic about half a year ago. He messed me up, my arm up, something bad. And then he just let me go without a word. See you later, bye! So I gotta go in and get another doctor to patch me up again. Tell if I'm doing the same voice for Walkie. I'm sorry, guys. Yes, it sounded horrible. Walkie has always been fond of fighting, I'm afraid. I'm not sure it qualifies as fighting when pistols are involved. Mr. Gavin was saying his life might be in danger, wasn't he? No, I can't be. I'm, I'm sure he was just trying to scare us. It's scary to think that a surgeon might make a mistake. But it's even scarier when he tries to hide it. I'd like to know a little more about this operation. Maybe it's time to pay the Maractes clinic a visit. I should be getting home now. Walkie's in your hands, Mr. Justice. <laughs> right, L leave it to me. Apollo, I think you're only making her more nervous. Sorry, I'm new at this, okay? <laughs> it's all right. I believe in you. doing I don't know what we're doing <laughs> Mr. Eldoon's house has seen better days and I'm betting we've e I've eaten better noodles Yeah The front entrance to the Maractes Clinic. The walls and posts are so highly polished I can see my face in them. Wait, my hairdo's a little flat. There, perfect. Oh, Apollo. Nope. I'm very confuddled. Like somehow I've made a mistake and I don't know how. Well, let's go to the detention center, because I have no clue where else to go. June 16th, detention center, visitor's room. Hmm, looks like Walkie's out for questioning. I really need to talk to him. I guess we'll come back later. Excuse me. Yes? The other suspect is through with questioning, sir. The other, ah, you mean the panty snatcher. Wesley Stickler. So they arrested him too. All right, let's have a little chat with Mr. Stickler. I hope I don't regret this. Apollo, we're all... Okay, hopefully... Sorry, it seems like the mic may have cut out. I don't know. It just suddenly dropped and I, I just fixed it. So hopefully it, the mic is back to working. <laughs> Obviously I didn't do anything because I paused you guys in the meantime, but still... I don't know if it cut off my last sentence. He's a viable witness. He is a bit pre pre precious. I'll give him that. <laughs> <laughs> ¶¶
Please, keep this brief, if you would. I'm quite busy. Oh, you. I need to finish this paper. No, it's you! Mr. Stickler, we'd like to have a few words with you. Very well, as long as they're few. Nothing would make me happier, believe me. Misunderstood. How exactly? Yes, that night I obtained a pair of panties, it's true. However, it was my burning curiosity that drove me to do it, nothing more. You wanted to know the trick to my panties, right? No, buddy, you stole another pair of panties. That crosses that lovely excuse off this list. You're here too? Oh, great Trucy, teach me! know the secret to your panties! My very existence hangs in the balance! Please, make me your apprentice! Apollo, help! I don't know. I think he'd make a great lovely assistant. Don't say that, Apollo! Could you relate what you saw on the night of the murder to us one more time? Why not? Though it hardly differs from the testimony I gave in court. The defendant was there in the park that night. Of this I'm quite certain. He was pointing a pistol, or something like that, at the victim. That's when I shouted, Stop, you two! Let's resolve this like gentlemen! And the next moment a shot was fired. And this is all true, really. My panties are gone. My innermost heart revealed. What further reason could I possibly have to lie? I can't think of anything you'd want to hide more than panty snatching, Drew. It sounds like Waki was at the scene of the crime after all. Oh, I wish it weren't so. It'd make my life easier. Okay. Well, I don't know what else to do. June 16th, Kataki Mansion. Oh my god! Yipes! She's back! Hey! You two! Over here! Us? Yo, little plum! What's up? I think all this gangster is n a negative influence on Trucy. I heard you retreat my, my bloomers! Well, I, I was just speaks clearly and takes quite a word too. I don't remember what voice I gave her. God damn! You caught the thief, didn't you? Uh, yes! Sorry, I caught him. You're cute when you're nervous, Polly. I'll deal with you later. Enough of the bloomers. What about my son, Walkie? Walkie? Uh, clearly! Yes, ma'am! This is why I was kind of hoping we could avoid coming back here. Okay. Well, let's talk about walking. He's really everything you expect in a boss's son. I'm gonna be a gangster, dude! Well, life does have an appeal of that age. Particularly for boys. What? 
Don't look at me like that. It was a shot in the turf one about half a year ago. Yes, we heard the story from Walkie. But he didn't tell you the whole story. You know, even if he had a pistol then, he couldn't have shot anyone. What? He acts like he's a pug, but he couldn't shoot someone to save his life. I should know. I'm his mom. Her words do have a certain weight to them. Hopefully, when this is all taken care of, he and the boss can sort out the differences. The boss? You mean Walkie's father? They don't seem to be on the best terms, do they? Our pistols is missing. So the murder weapon was from this mansion. We kind of figured, given the difficulty of obtaining a gun these days. None of the rank and file have access. Only the boss, myself, and Bucket could have taken it. I see. God, you're making this harder. I'm sure the cops will continue trumping all over the mansion because of this case. This is a sign that it's time for a change. Ha 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 ha! Doesn't seem too concerned, at least. Yeah, walk his fiance. They're getting married next month, correct? I suppose. She's been staying over lately. You don't look too happy about that little plum. How'd you get? Even I could tell that. Could you tell us more about her? Walkin brought her home one day. Says he wants to tie the knot. I can see why. She's so pretty. Oh, she's pretty enough. But, you know. Nah, it's probably just me being suspicious. Stay in this business too long. And you start to only see the darkness in people. You get a nose for it. And a nose for people, a nose for trouble. I wonder what the problem is. It's like a gangster-only version of female intuition. Okay. The boss may act tough, but that boy means the world to him. But Rocky seems well. It seems like he's against his father's position. Ah, it's to be expected. We're in a bit of a transition now. Trying to cut out ties with the shadiest side of the street and do more on the up and up. Walkie isn't too enthusiastic about change, it's true. But why the change? Is the gangster thing just not paying the bills? Ha 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 ha! It pays, but we need a lot of money right now. Clean money, that is. I see. Something must be up. You'll see things the way the boss see them. Someday. Okay! I'm Melvin! Oh, finally! Okay! So, so it was literally just I, I spaced on how this entire case goes. Oh, well, you guys got some funny things out of me spacing on how this case moves. Hey, it's Mr. Eldoon! Oh, Mr. Eldoon! Hmm. What's wrong? So... You found my stand? That's why I'm here, to thank you. Ah! But now it's a crime scene and they won't let me have a back! That's also why I'm here. I got no other place to go. Ah, I see. How can a noodle stand be a crime scene? That's what I don't get, Trucido! Even in death, he's after my neck, I tell ya. Bah! I can't even cook an art! An honest noodle! He? Even in death? You mean the victim, Dr. Maractus? I'll tell you. It's enough to drive a man to make his soup even saltier. I, I can't imagine you making your soup even saltier. Remind me to never eat his noodles when he's in a bad mood. Generation.
Americans had served up the very best noodles us Eldoons could make. The tradition of noodles and salty broth. It's more than a stand, it's history, I tell you. Watch what you say or you or it might become true. That's a great story, Mr. Eldoon. A single stand passed down from generation to generation. Of course, to be honest, I didn't plan on doing it. That's right, you said something about that. About you rebelling against your pops, was it? Good memory, Trisadel. Aye, I was a go-getter back in my day. Until my friend next door butted in. In the end, I was left with nothing but this dusty old stain to earn my fortune. Mr. Eltoon, I don't mean to pry. But what exactly did you do before you became a chef? Ah! That old noodles lie, that's what I say. I'm starting to get an idea of what he did anyway. He stole my dreams and left me with nothing but noodles. And now I don't even have that. Mr. Eldoon, if I might ask, what exactly happened between you and the Baractes Clinic? Eh? Eh? I couldn't help but sense enmity there. Enmity? I hate him! Er, hey, did! Him acting like he smells like roses when he rolling in mud. Excuse me? Yeah, really, excuse me? He's the only doctor at the clinic, you know. Pretty impressive, eh? I'll tell you the secret to his success. The mob! You mean, the Kataki family? They always have one of them turf wars and whatnot. Always an injury or two that needs fixing. Marakti saw a chance for some business. So he started giving the Kataki family a good deal. A deal? Every fifth operation for free. He stole the idea from my pops. One free bowl of noodles a week, he used to say. Can a doctor just decide to do that? What about the insurance companies? This is the mob, Trucy! They ain't no insurance companies! Oh, no doubt it's illegal. But it got him goo with the family. Pretty soon he was getting all the business in time. Leaving me here, in the dark. Up to my neck in soup and noodles. I think I figured out what Mr. Eldoon's former occupation was. Can't hurt to ask, Apollo. Mr. Eldoon, or should I say Dr. Eldoon? Figured it out, did ya? That's right, I was a doctor, a surgeon until a year before last. So Mr. Maractes was your rival? You like those onions they put in the soup broth? Um, yeah, kind of. You take a spoon, you drink some broth. Those onions will find their way in there. For people who like them, why, that's just fine. For people who hate them. I hate onions. Hate them. Always sneaking in from the side. Getting in the way of a good tasting spoonful. Well, that's what he was. An onion. Onion boy, that's what I called him. So, you weren't exactly friends. Ha! <laughs> Me and pal Maractus. Ever since preschool, we were getting in each other's face. No matter what I did, sure enough, he'd come following along. Then he'd do it better than me. Just blow right past without so much as a howdy. I see. That's right, I was a surgeon long before he was, you know. Then that no good on your boy comes along. Well, Trucy, looks like we found ourselves a new suspect. Oh, shut up, Apollo! Don't say that! Thanks to him, I was forced to trade my scalpel for a ladle. Sorry, pal. Didn't mean to weigh you down with my with an old man's ramblings. No, it's fine. By the way of apology, you ever get yourself in a spot of trouble, you drop bomb by. Huh? You investigate Maractus, aren't you? Yes. Well, you want to know about a doctor? You ask a doctor, that's all I'm saying. You just think of me when you need something, Trusadol. Right, thanks, Mr. Eldoon. Hmm. I guess the time spent listening to him complain wasn't entirely wasted. Yep. Well, we've got to check out this clinic, that's for sure. 
Yeah, but what about the car? No harm in asking. Um, excuse me. Hey, it's you two from yesterday. That's the same officer that was standing out by the park yesterday. Your business is over in the park, isn't it? The clinic's off limits. It's not involved. I'm sorry! In what world do you think the place of business of the goddamn victim ain't involved in the murder? Goddamn. Hi! What part of off limits do you not understand? Show me proof that the clinic is connected to the incident in the park or beat it. No harm in asking, no gain either. No point in sticking around here, I guess. Okay. Well, let's go see if we can talk to Waki at the detention center now. Oh yeah, we get to talk to Waki now. Finally. God, you think I I never get to talk to my my client. Um, I was hoping to meet with my client. Waki Kataki's just finished questioning. I'll bring him out. Great! Finally! Yo, sups, my little imposter! What did you call me? Gazam, is that you? Sorry, G, I thought you were Altia. Altia. My little imposter sure is a strange nickname. It's a click thing, you wouldn't understand. D did I say imposter? I meant poster, like poster girl, alright? If you're going to drop part of that, why not drop poster and just call her girl? Cause she's so much more than a G. She's like, she's like an angel, a fallen angel. So, what can I do for you? You don't look so, you don't look so chipper today, Walkie. Worried about your, um, heart condition, maybe? That was the wackiest thing of all! All us G's lining up taking eye exams. Better to die young than to fade away, bazoy! Uh, relief to hear. Eh? What's a relief? Oh, did your father not tell you? That bullet you carry so close to your heart? If not attended to immediately... It could kill you. M man, I ain't trying to hear that. A man fights to protect what's valuable to him. You know what I'm saying? I missed my fallen angel. Hey, you go get out here for me. You're my lawyer, aren't you? Lawyer, not gopher. Answer my questions, Wacky. So, I hear you're to be married next month? Straight up, we poured the nuptial forty out of the stoop. I'll tell you, oh, Snapple Cakes, she's so fine. I think he's smitten with her in his own weird way. I was wondering, how did you two meet? I asked Talia, but she was very vague. Don't tell him, he said not gonna give us an answer. Huh? Well, man, if she won't tell you. I best hold my tongue, you feel me? What? Man, what's past is past. She knows that. When I'm with Al... Al... Alita, I feel like there's things worth protecting out there. You feel me? And my uh, Alita, she down with that all the way. <laughs> so both of them are mum about their past. I feel like I went from giving him like a, a Brooklyn, New York accent bad about that. I'm not good with accents unless they're British. Uh, do you think you could tell us what happened with you and Paul Maractus? There's something you should know. We Kathakis have what you might call a feud with the Rivalis family. So about six months back, I go to the Rivalis turf packing a knife, right? And you were shot? Coldest thing I've ever seen. One shot to the heart, but my home is born too late. It's a miracle that I live. It's already considered one of the seven wonders of the Kazaki family, you know that? So you were taken to the Meraki's clinic then. You should have seen their faces when they wheeled me in. You can't just let the boss's son die, you know? I'd hate to have been in that doctor's shoes. I really would have hated to be in that doctor's shoes. Mr. Kotaki's scary enough when he is 
not angry. But the bullet that hit you, it was never removed? And it's still threatening his life? That doctor, he did it on purpose. The Revali's paid him off, I'm sure of it. I need to hear more about the night of the murder. That much is clear. Laughing the family is a G thing. It's all about being a man. You know what I'm saying? Sorry, I'm not on my G things. I'm not even sure what a G thing is. But my old man, he's gotten solved. He says the old rival gang days are old, but he just wants to make money. Isn't that a good thing? Man, there ain't no soul in making money. Better to live fast and die young for she's old. <sighs> Wait till I run the yard, then everybody know what time it is. That's right, OG time all the time. Represent! Apollo? Why does he keep talking about old guys? I don't think that's what OG means, Trucy. Well, present you your knife and you tell me more about this. Was this what you were holding? About these weapons, the pistol and the knife? They belong to the family, I snuck them out that night. So the killer Mr. Sickler says he saw that knife was... I guess it was me, I was there after all. Ah, oh, we're finished! Um, yo, Rocky. Do you think you can tell us exactly what happened that night? Yeah, you don't beat around the bush, do you? I like your style, Shorty. Yep, thank you. That's all I needed to know. Um, actually, there's a question I've been wanting to ask you for a while now. That is, uh, did you do it? Did you shoot him? I don't know. Eh? Yeah. The day of that checkup when I found out about the bullet in my heart. I borrowed a gun from the family stash. Why did I give that doctor a taste of his own bad medicine? Uh-oh, I don't like where this is going. But you were carrying a knife, weren't you? Oh, that? Yeah, well, never can be too careful, I say. So I'm on my way to the clinic, right? When I run into him in the park. there that night. Then I guess it probably was me who did him in. You know what I'm saying? Well, God damn it, Walkie, you ain't helping me! Ah! Oh. No, I don't want to present anything. Okay, let's move. Let's go back to the park. See if we can figure something out. Ah, June 16th! Kotaki Mansion. At the, by the park. Probably people trying to get a glimpse of the crime scene. But why are those girls screaming? I think I just heard one of them say, oh my god, it's him! Wait, that motorcycle? Ah, if it isn't her forehead. Prosecutor Gavin! Some fans found me on my way out. Just my luck. Oh my god, oh my god, he's so cool! Bust the screams. New album just came out, you know? Try waving to them. They love it. I don't think Apollo waving to them is gonna be a good idea. Let's not even try that. Oh! Oh! He's so cute! <laughs> They're so excited. It doesn't matter who waves to them, see? This is surreal. Um, so you were here investigating? And I was on my way home, when my hog gave up the ghost. Your hog? My motorcycle won't start. A clogged exhaust pipe. 
too bad! It looks like such a nice bike, too! Hard to believe that it could break from just that. Ah, it's my fault, I think. I was using the wrong oil. Cars, motorbikes, they're all the same. Clog the exhaust and they won't run. Ah, machines. Tell me you share my angst, her forehead. I ride a bicycle, actually. <laughs> in any event, I'm off to the shop to get her fixed. The detective in charge of the scene isn't fond of me in any case. The detective? You mean the one in the lab coat? Ja, she's in a foul mood, too. Be gentle. Of wood stein, baby. Of wooden stein. Wooden stein. I can't say that. I'm sorry, guys. My German is cold. Oh my god! Oh my god! There he goes! Yet his bike is still here. Nope, there it is. And the forecast for the park today? Gloomy skies. Boom! Boom! Apollo with the dead ringers! Well, nothing to do but head on in. Let's hit up the park, Apollo. Okay. June 16th, people buck. Huh? Does something about this scene look different to you? The blue tarps are gone. Maybe that's it? Yeah, I think you're right. Look over there. The white frock detective from yesterday. She seems to be apologizing reverently to the trash can. She's under a lot of stress. The investigation's probably not going so well. Hey, you there. If you're going to talk about someone behind their backs, do it more quietly, please. Oh, uh, Detective Sky, hello. You seem as gloomy as ever. This is miserable, miserable. I just got a new kit and I can't get the stuff to work. And everyone's all smiles and gl for the glamorous plot. Glamorous? Glimmerous? Does she mean Prosecutor Gavin? More to the point, doesn't she mean glamorous? When he walks with his, all, with his shiny chains, catch the sun and glimmer in my eyes, it's distracting! Speaking of distracting... I guess I'll just have to accept the fact that I lack talent. Sounds like she's trying some sort of new forensics technique. Ah, let's talk! Let's talk about you. Detective Sky, you know Mr. Wright, correct? How do you know my daddy? I want details. Ah, ah, well, he helped me out a long time ago. You might say he saved me. Wasn't she saying something about getting involved in an incident? I can't stand when things are big, especially a case. I went to study to become a forensic scientist in Europe. But you're a detective now. Well, I failed the test. But you know, rank and title don't matter. What matters is what's inside your heart. I've always thought that too. And my heart is full of science. That's why I bought this kit through a mail order. And I'm going to test it here before the forensic team arrives. Are you sure that's okay? Are you sure that's okay, buddy? I won't lie, I'm not fond of them. Those glamorous types always rub me the wrong way. Glamorous, right. A prosecutor should be cool of wit and furrowed of brow. Less glamorous and more simmerous, you know? No, actually I don't. I have no idea what that second word you said is. Well, that and what happened seven years ago. Prosecutor Gavin was one of the one who stripped Mr. Wright of his attorney's badge. What? Really? He was the one? You mean you didn't know? I thought you were one of his boys. I'm neither a boy nor one of his, but let's see what she has to say. Um, what exactly happened seven years ago? I never actually heard the details. Then investigate. It's better you learned it for yourself anyway. Well, shag! Okay, let's talk the kit. Give me the kit. I want to know what I can do with the kit. Do you mind me?
me ask you exactly what it is you've been doing? Squatting down on the ground like that? Oh, you want to know, do you? Well, I splurged on a new toy. You splurged? You mean it wasn't police issue? What is it? I see a roller and glue. This is a footprint analyst kit. Footprint? It was raining on the night of the murder, which means that footprints were left. Oh! Does that have anything to do with those blue tarps? Right! The ground was muddy, so I had to protect it as it was that night. Ever wanted to know exactly where someone was standing? Like your panty snatching student witness, for instance. Aha! So with that kit! Right! What? Wanna try this stuff out? Huh? Are you sure? I mean, we're, we're sort of on an opposing teams and all. Oh, psh, you're friends. And to tell the truth, I'm not so good at doing this. Guess I'm a little clumsy. I could use your help. Oh, I'm good at stuff like this. I used to make magic bunnies out of paper mache. Footprint analysis, huh? Well, should I give it a go? Obviously, you try it, guys. You try it. You, you don't say don't try it. Okay, I'll give it a go. That's the spirit. Right, allow me to explain. Ahem, one moment. She's reading the instructions for her kit. Why does this not fill me with confidence? First, we have to pick a footprint, or in this case, shoe print we want to analyze. I'm taking the liberty of marking all the shoe prints in the park. Ah. Well, which shoe print should we start with? If we're going to verify the defendant's account, here's the place to start. Shoe prints, prepare to be examined. Oh, this is so exciting! Right here it goes. First, pour the plaster into the print until it's full. So you try. How am I supposed to do that? Just touch the screen where you want to pour the plaster. Like this. It doesn't look too hard. If you run out of plaster in your breaker before you're done, you'll have to start over. Not bad! You're handier with that than you look. What's that supposed to mean? On to the next step. Um, dry the plaster until it turns white. Right. Just touch the touch to direct the dryer. There. Give it a shot. Let's take a look. Hmm, yes, that's a good one. Next, the ink. Ready for the next step? Use the roller to ink just the shoe print part. Hold on to that roller tight now and roll it up and down. Keep going till you get enough ink on there for a good print. Now the mummy you've been waiting for. Let's take our print. Ready? Here goes. Let's see if we get a match. Well, because we think this is walking. Boom! Perfect match. Woo! So we know Waki was there. So the shoe prints belong to Waki Kataki after all. He was in the park on the night of the crime. Wow, I can almost see the science at work. Don't you love it? Ha, <laughs> nothing feels better. She's definitely way more into this than I am. Just let me know if you want to do some more. I'll be here solving the case with science. Well, that certainly brands her mood. Well, let's see the green one. Detective Sky, mind if we give it another go? Right on! Leave no print unanalyzed, I say! Now, to pick which print you want to analyze. Well, the green ones. The green ones. Okay, looking good. Next, to dry the plaster.
Therefore, let's take our print. Ready? Here goes. Let's see if we get a match. Whee! We got a match. So, these shoe prints belong to Wesley Stickler? This confirms his testimony, the final version of it at least. Now we know where the panty snatcher was standing. We got one more shoe print to do. Detective Sky, mind if we give it another shot? I believe you're beginning to appreciate the wonder that is forensic science. Except for the part with the leaf. I can say without even looking that this print doesn't match any print on our list. A mystery print. This print is far too smooth to be from a regular shoe. It's a shoe print of some kind though, that's certain. Still, you have to wonder what's it doing here. Mr. Elton's noodle stand. It does make one wonder. Hey, you! Yes? Why are you so quiet all of a sudden? You wouldn't happen to have something in mind. I do. I got something in mind that we saw earlier in this case. Something that might have left this mystery shoe brick. This mystery shoe brick does remind me. Uh, nope. Sorry. No idea. I gotta go get it. I wonder what it is. Something familiar about that smooth surface. So smooth, it's almost slippery. Well, if you think of something, I'm all ears. Well, no. Gotta run back to the mansion. Ignore me, police guard. I'm just examining the trash can. This trash can, this is where we found the mirror. Come to think of it, wasn't there something else in here? Something near the bottom? Look at the paint on these. That means these must have ended up here after Mr. Wright's accident. Maybe they're connected. Let's pick them up. Slippers added to the court record. Up, ah, move. Go back into the park. And present the slippers. the Maractes Clinic. Hey! What? The slipper! Look right here! I think I see a toe mark. A toe mark? You think we can get a print off that? Sure, toes have print ju prints just like fingers do, you know. We just don't have a database for toe prints. This little clue might be a gold mine. Oh, there's one problem. The police station doesn't keep a record of toe prints. So we won't know whose it is. I guess that would be too much to hope for. Still, it might be useful somehow. Let's analyze it. No! I want my evidence! Covered in paint. 
pain on my hands. Apollo, I saw you try to wipe your hand on my cape. actually. Slippers? What would slippers be doing out here? Well, look at the bottom, see? It's covered with paint except for, see, right here. Hey, that spot is shaped like a leaf. What if the leaf was stuck to the bottom and came off when the slippers stepped in the paint? Makes sense, doesn't it? Wait, something's written on that. The Maractes Clinic? Exactly, the victim's clinic. Wait, that means... That someone from the clinic was involved? Why is she still standing there eating? Um, Detective Sky, I have a favor to ask. What? Can you get us access to the Maracti's clinic? The police won't let us in. They say the murder and the clinic are not connected. And it's... Off limits until we prove they are. I should be able to do something for you, yes. Eh, really? Well, you did my work for me here with the shoe prints. Seems like I should return the favor. Thank you, Detective Sky. Here, show this to the police officer on duty. Detective Sky's orders add to court record. Right, Maracti's Clinic, here comes justice! Let's move. Let's move. Let's run away. Let's run away from this scene before anything else happens. Eldoon's house. Ah, you two again. When? Oh, when will you learn? Look at me however you want. You're not getting in today. I'm sorry, guy. You, you let me in. I wouldn't be so sure of that if I were you. Look what we have here. What's this? Detective Sky? 
Yesterday it was Prosecutor Gavin. Today it's Detective Sky. Who are you two, really? Now he's suspicious again. Well, you got the orders. I gotta let you in. Have fun. Thanks, Mr. Officer. Let's hit it, Apollo. Well, I, I don't think we're gonna hit it, but yeah, we'll, we'll go in the clinic. June 16th, Meracti's Clinic, reception. Huh? Kind of an at-home sort of place, isn't it? This place has a connection to the murder in the park. I'm sure of it. The police guy out front wasn't so sure. Beyond it being where the victim lived? Looks like the police team have gone home for the day. There might be some clues lying around. Let's get cracking, Apollo. Well, one missing sandals. These must be the slippers for the patients at the clinic. The same as the pair we found, of course. Look, a single pair is missing from the rack here, too. And ours have paint on the bottoms. Which means they were taken out of here on the night of the murder. Right. The paint's from the hidden run, after all. But what were a pair of clinic slippers doing in that trash can? And what were they doing at the scene of the hidden run? Why would there be sandals here? Unless they belong to one of the patients. Or maybe it's a visitor that came to see Dr. Maractus? You'd think they'd use his house entrance instead of the clinic entrance in that case. And if this patient or visitor isn't still here, why'd they leave without their shoes? Better take a closer look at these just in case. Let's look at the bowls. Look at all these bowls. Look at all these bowls. I thought you were Apollo for a second. They're from Eldoon's Noodles. They're Mr. Salty. Pen, I think we figured something out. I think we have. Mr. Eldoon must do takeout. No, Tracy. Not exactly what I was thinking. All the bowls must have been washed clean. I think we found our first clue, Tracy. Wait, what was I doing? Look! This door says doctor's office. Think this is the victim's private office? It's not locked. Too bad. Why too bad? I like opening locks. It's kind of a hobby of mine. Like, those little bike locks don't even bother putting them on when I'm around. That's probably not a hobby you want to tell too many people about. Uh, Apollo? That sound, it came from behind this door. Someone's in there. Let's check it out. Let's check it out, Trucy. A break-in? They left through that window. Wait, Apollo, you're too late to catch them now. That must be her experience as the panty snatcher chaser talking. Well, we should tell the police. Let's check the room out first, Apollo. If we call the police now, we'll lose our chance. You're right. Well, one thing's for certain. This clinic and our murder case are looking pretty related. Yep, let's examine everything. That lamp. Kind of an expensive looking lamp, isn't it? Hey, the bulb's broken. Broken? You don't mean burned out? No, our cat burglar must have dropped it. But why is it standing up on the floor like that then? Hey, look at the cord. Huh? There's a red splash on part of the cord. You think that's blood? It's a little bright for blood, almost pinkish. Something definitely odd about this lamp for sure. Yep, let's look at the safe. What a cute little safe. Looks like a four digit lock. Someone's already entered in two numbers, Apollo. Seven, nine, wait, do you think? 
That burglar just now was trying to open it. I wonder what's inside this safe. Hmm. Is there any way we can figure out the last two numbers? Well, we know the first two are seven and nine. Maybe there's something in the court record. Something that can help us figure out the last two numbers. Hmm, I wonder. Fingerprint powder would do it. I've got an idea. I knew it, Apollo. What is it? Well, though we have to know what buttons are compressed, we can use this to find out the next two numbers are. Take that! When you press the buttons, you have to touch them. With your finger, right? It would leave a print. When you open a safe, you don't press any of the other buttons but the right ones, right? So if we can find the buttons with the fingerprints, we'll have the safe code. Not bad, Apollo. Identify the burglar, but we can open this safe. Let's give it a shot. It's not that hard to figure out how to open the safe. Code confirmed. Oh, it opened. This looks like a medical chart. There's an x ray in here with it. An x ray? Can't make heads or tails of it. And I can't read the chart either. It's all medical speak. But the names are easy enough to read. Look, my patient, it says, Walkie Kataki. So this is Walkie, our client's chart, huh? Why would this one chart be here in this safe? Let's see. The physician phys signature says Palmeractus. Eh? What is it, Apollo? Look here where it says who filed the chart. Let's see. Alita Talia? Alita Talita is Walkie's fiance. That's one Ita too many, Apollo. Lo? <laughs> Never mind that. What's her name doing here? How should I know? Though I guess it means she's on staff at this clinic? Odd that she neglected to mention this before now. I'm sure she had her reasons. So, Alita Talia worked at Meracti's clinic, and she had access to Walkie Kitaki's medical report. You got the I and Y wrong, Apollo. I'd be very interested to find out what this chart says. Who could help us decipher this? Walkie's chart adds to the court record. And then, obviously, you want to Looks like a bullet hole. Hmm. You can see the bullet sticking out of it. Why is it in the middle of the safe? Hey, the bullet came out. The tip's all squished. Not surprised given it was fired into a metal safe. This bullet's got a story behind it, that's for sure. Well, we did our job.
Mr. Right? Ask a couple questions. Ah, the prodigal attorney returns. Welcome, Apollo. I heard you did well in the trial today. Here to discuss something? I could use a little diversion. What did Detective Sky say? If you want to know something, you got to investigate it yourself. Mr. Wright! Tell me what happened seven years ago! Please! I want to know! I need to know! Ah, uh, you certainly don't waste time getting to the point. Why would I waste time getting to the point? There's no point. Seven years ago, I was standing in a courtroom on behalf of Clyde. The case involved the death of a certain magnificent genius. I'd be surprised if you hadn't heard about it. It was all over the news, I remember that. You were up against Prosecutor Gavin, weren't you? Yes, he was only 17 years old at the time. 17 years old? That's still high school! He took the bar exam abroad, in Europe. They're progressive over there, you know? I was defeated by a 17-year-old newcomer. In my shame, I left the practice rep. That's all. That's all? How could that be all? What do you mean? What about what they were saying on the news about forged evidence? They said you forged evidence and had your attorney's badge stripped from you. <sighs> Tell me, how does it feel? How does it feel to stand here before Phoenix Wright, the forging, at the forging attorney himself? How does it feel? I, I don't want to believe it's true. But what about what happened in my first trial? Didn't you notice in today's trial? There was a single piece of forged evidence. I'm talking about evidence that shouldn't have existed. A naughty magician's trick. Ha ha ha! I don't see you jumping to my defense on this one. Maybe I did forge evidence, maybe I didn't. It doesn't really matter now, does it? But, I'm not an attorney anymore. That's the only truth you need to know. Mr. Wright. Looks like he doesn't want to talk about the accusations of forgery for now. Yep! Move back! Let's move back! We're gonna head towards people park. Because now I got something to compare the sandals to. I know that face. That's the face of someone who's made a discovery. Hey, how'd you know? You can't fool someone trained in the ways of science. Next, you'll have us analyzing face prints. Let's ask Detective Sky to help us, Apollo. Well, let's examine. Not that. I, I'm being so stupid. I know, it's literally the same 
com conversations before. Do we have another series worn by the same person? Not one right here. I think I just might actually. Really? I'm beginning to suspect something here. Detective Sky, can you compare the sample with this other print? Take that! This pair of slippers, toe print and all. Oh, the print on this is nice and clear too. That makes our job easy. Can you analyze it for us? Of course, hang on. Bingo, gosh, I'm good. Hey, we were the ones who found the prints. A perfect match. The same person wore these sandals and slippers. I was afraid of that. I was afraid of that. All you have to do is find out whose sandals these belong to. Or do you already know? I can't say. Not yet. Well, that's one big step closer. To the truth. Map, let's go to the detention center. Let's talk. Let's run away. June 16th, detention center, visitor's room. Don't cry, Angel. Dad is back, Daddy's. Oh, you again. Do you always have to announce your entrance like that? Man, my old man, he man. Now I'm all in a funk and it's his fault. One can only assume his father tried to teach him a lesson. And failed, clearly. You two got your work cut out for you, straight up. Of course, I don't care if they lock me up, I'm ready to go. Some days I wonder why I do what I do. That's a very good question, Apollo. Why you gotta do what you do? Hey man, you won't see me bugging about one or two guilty charges. But what if you're found guilty of murder? Hey, it's all experience, you feel me, shorty? Like a badge of honor. They don't give it the death penalty, do they? didn't really do it, did you? Maybe I did and maybe I didn't. If I've learned one thing today, it's that silence speaks louder than words. Yep, silence is golden. Man, my old man was whack. Disappointing, that's what he is. I heard he wants to leave the mob. Over my dead body! I spent my life trying to keep it real, being an OG down and never stepping down. Now my old man wants to go soft? Fine, let him. Just leave me out of it. <sighs> the day I get out of the clink, that's the day in Alita and I start the next generation of the Kotaku family. Please don't talk as if, it, as if it's assumed you're going to jail, for my sake. Well, I'm going to present you with sandals and you're going to tell me, you're going to let something slip and I'm going to laugh at you. Walkie, you don't happen to recognize these, do you? Hey, sure I do. I was the one who bought them for For Miss Talia? Yeah, a birthday present. She got mad little bee man, so cute. So these sandals are hers. Yeah. I had a feeling. What's up with that funky vibes? <sighs> yep, thank you. Thank you for telling me, God. Huh? What's that? Some kind of x-ray? Wait. That's right, Walkie. It's yours. Hey, look, I don't smoke or nothing. I got I'll live long, right? I don't think he gets it, Apollo. Uh, take a closer look. Here in particular, where it says nurse, it's signed Alita Talia. Huh? You lawyers do your homework. So, you met Miss Talia when you... Yeah, I met her at the clinic, so... Could you tell us a bit about the circumstances of your meeting? Fine, fine, I'll tell you how we met if you want to know that bad. I want to know everything. I'm sorry, Rocky. I'm gonna accuse your fiance so hard. But how do you go out shot during a little turf war with another family? Well, bring it down, sure. But they came in 
got me home me off to the dock. The Miraculous Clinic? That's where I met her. My fallen angel. You mean Alita Talia. She was scared of me at first, turns out. But you know what they say. The bad guy always gets the ladies. Right. She was done with that clinic anyhow. So I was like, I'll take you on, woman. Straight gangster style. Guess what she said. What did she say? Come on, give it some thought. She said, real quiet like in a down low, know what I'm saying? I'll leave if you marry me. So that was the proposal? You know it? An oath of love right there in the hospital room. Just like that, the op was done and we were out of there. See you later, bye. I'm about that op. Yeah, didn't go so well after all, did it? I know about the report. I know it's still in me. I I'd like to know more about this. This health checkup was the boss's idea, you said? Yeah, can you imagine? What's the point of living healthy when you're a G, you know what I'm saying? But didn't you learn about the bullet at that checkup? Yeah, that's when I knew that doctor had to pay. Figured I could get a cap pulled after I got my revenge. And hey, I'm still living large now, aren't I? Incidentally, you... Had you ever had a health checkup before? Nah, my old man suddenly gets this idea we all gotta get checkups. Guess he's getting old. Older, I mean. Well, thank you, Walkie. We're gonna move back to the agency. We're gonna then move to Mr. L. Dude's house and we're gonna have him tell me about this stupid goddamn chart. Cause I'm super confused on this health chart. And he said he'd help me with medicals. John 16th, L. Dune's house. Mr. L. Dune, we've been looking all over for you. What's the matter, Trusado? Apollo, show him what we found. Nothing like expert advice. I suppose he is a doctor still. Hmm. Mr. Eldoon, is everything okay? I'm just so happy. I just thought my doctor days were gone for good. Mr. Eldoon? Uh, Mr. Eldoon, could you take a look at this? Hmm, a medical chart. Hey, you shouldn't go around taking these from clinics. Why the sudden silence, Mr. Eldoon? What? What's going on here? Uh, that, that's what we want to know? That chart belongs to my client. He's on trial on suspicion of murder. On trial? That's crazy! You can't put him on trial! He's ABD! ABD? Oh, but dead! He's knocking on the pearly gates, and someone's about to answer! Can you tell us why? Oh my god, he took it off! Well, permit me to say as a surgeon. You listen up good now, son. No way. It's like he's a completely different person. Well, can't talk to someone. Well, according to this chart, this walkie talkie fella's not doing so well. He's got a bullet right up the side of his heart. That's right. Yeah, but his chart talks about the post-op. In other words, the operation is already finished. But you can see the bullet's still stuck in there. Why would it still be in there after the operation to remove it? Well, about the only reason I can think of is it was too tricky to operate on. What? That bullet snug as a bug there, right next to his aorta, which is connected to the heart. Heck, that scrap of metal's just surrounded by blood vessels. Kind of a miracle. Two millimeters to every side, there's some serious bleeding going on there. Not something your average doc could be eager to fiddle with. Y you mean? It took a miracle, miracle to get that bullet stuck where it is. It'd take more than a miracle to take it out. It'd take a magician. 
Um, I'm only up to making rabbits disappear. I haven't learned bullets yet. Of course, with the heart pumping and lungs working, that bullet's on the move. I'd give him another half a year, tops. But Blocky's operation was already half a year ago. That's why I'm saying you're out of time. This kid shouldn't be on trial. He should be on an operating table. Great. Just great. Just leave that bullet in there. I got a pretty good idea how he felt. An emergency operation? He's got the kid's chest open on the table. Then he finds that bullet. That's despair right there, Trusa doll. Cold despair. Despair? About the only thing he could do is sew the boy back up. He wasn't exactly in a situation to go admitting he couldn't take it out. The Katakis. You bet. This kid's that their only son, I hear. So he skips the operation and walks back on the streets, living his life. Of course, it's only a matter of time before his heart hemorrhages and he drops cold. How awful! And which doctor would they take him to? Maractus. He's got enough ties to them, he could probably cover up the truth of what happened. That's just horrible! He left Walkie to die! There's a darkness in this world, Trisadal. Waiting and hungry. Compared to it, these gang turf wars are like kid games. When you're up against real evil, well, it don't matter if you're weak or strong. It'd take you all the same. You were a surgeon, right, Mr. Eldoon? You could operate on Walkie, couldn't you? I wish. What? I'm afraid there ain't nobody in this country that could. Maybe not even in the world. So, so Walkie... He's real lucky to be alive even now. No! There's, a, there's one problem. Apollo? This chart, look at the nurse section. Alita Talia. That's right, this operation was how they met. Yeah, the problem is she knew. She knew about Walkie's condition, guaranteed. Ah! Why didn't she ever tell him? It doesn't make sense. If she knew her patient was in serious danger, you'd think she'd want to get that second operation before getting engaged. What was she thinking, Apollo? What were you thinking, Alita Talia? a cliffhanger for you guys holy crap is that a cliffhanger anyway guys thank you so much for joining me as we continue our adventure with apollo justice getting further and further into the story hopefully next time we finish off this case um we, we definitely should finish off this case we only have the trial left um, anyway, guys, once again, thank you so much. If you would like to help support the channel and help the channel keep growing, you can support me on Patreon. Even a dollar a month does indeed help. Patreon money does go towards the equipment used on the channel, including uh, upgrading equipment, allowing me to keep showcasing these videos at the highest of quality that I can for you guys. And uh, end credit screen, end credit screen, yay! Look at new end credit screen! I finally realized, oh wait, I, I actually did draw Apollo like I drew Phoenix for the Phoenix Wright trilogy. I'm end screen. So, here you go. Here's my drawing of Apollo. It's very obvious that it's my art style because his eyes are stupid. Uh, anyway guys, thank you so much for the support. I hope you guys continue supporting this series. Hopefully, I can continue recording it. We are almost done with the Hell Week here at my work. So hopefully after this, I'll be able to record episodes again at a much uh, more frequent opportunity. Once again, thank you all for joining me, and I will catch you all on the flip side. Bye, everyone.